Hello and good morning everybody. My name is Teacher Prashant and I welcome you all to another video. Now this video is Linear Graphs Part 2 and in this video we'll be learning what is a coordinate and also how to plot a coordinate on a graph. Now before I start this lesson let me tell you all something really quick. In our last video we learned what is a graph, what is a graph made up of which is x-axis and y-axis and what is a number line and what are quadrants and why we have positive and negative values of x and y at every quadrant. Now if you guys want to dig in a little bit more into the basics of the graph, I will put the link of the video on top of your screen so that you all could just click and learn more about graphs. Now without any further delay, let's get into our lesson. So let's go and learn what is a coordinate. Coordinates are basically a sets of numerical values of x and y together presented on a coordinate plane or a graph. Now, you know, they have all these fancy names to confuse the students, coordinate plane and all that, but you know, basically it's all the four quadrants on the graph where you could plot a coordinate. Simple as that, that's what a coordinate plane is, so don't confuse yourself. Right, so we can see examples of coordinates right here. The first one is minus three and uh, five, two and six, and four and three, okay? Now let's take one of them and study them in details. Let's take minus three and five. Now what is minus three, what is five, and why they are in a bracket, and why they are separated by comma? Now the only reason why minus 3 and 5 are separated by comma because they represent two different set of values. The first number represent x and the second number represent y. So they are two different set of values. So this minus 3 is actually the value of x and this 5 is actually the value of y. So this is what we call a coordinate and we can also give a name to a coordinate. So, so let's say a. a is the name of the coordinates and in the coordinate a x is minus 3 and 5 is y. So this is what a coordinate is in simple language. Let's go proceed further into our lesson. Now this is the right time to ask you all what is a coordinate. So in simple words I can say that coordinates are visual representation of data set which is a value of x and a value of y on a graph. And if you guys don't know they are also called ordered pairs. Now let me explain you the reason why they are called ordered pairs. Now let's just focus on the word ordered first. Now we call them ordered because x and y are placed in a sequence. We know that the first value will always be x and the second value will always be 5. Now since this pattern is followed when we write a coordinate, we can say that they are ordered or they are in a certain kind of sequence. Now why do we call them pairs? We, we call them pairs because the values of x and y are always given in a pair in a set. The first one is x and the second one is y. So that's why we call them ordered pairs. That's simple and easy. And now we know what is a coordinate. Co okay, so what is a coordinate? In my simple definition I can say any location or point on the graph which represent a value of x and a value of y together. That's what a coordinate is. Let's just keep it simple. So as we can see right here, our coordinate a has two values minus 3 and 5. So minus 3 represents x and 5 represents y. So we can say the coordinate a represents two different set of values. I don't know how you guys feel about this but I feel it is super easy to learn what is a coordinate. So now we are done with the topic coordinate. We all know what a coordinate means. Alright so let's jump to the core of this question and plot a coordinate on this graph. Now the coordinate which we will be plotting on this graph is a and in coordinate a we got x as minus 3 and y as 5. Now let's start with x equal minus 3 which basically means that where on the x-axis the value of x will be minus 3. So keep in mind that we have to work on the x-axis which is the horizontal line. So let's go highlight our x-axis. Okay so now we need to find out where on the x-axis the value of x equal minus 3. So as we can see on the left hand side we have x minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So at this point, the value of x will be minus 3. But my question to you all is, is this the only point where the value of x equal minus 3? No, there are so many other points where the value of x will be minus 3. So all these points, we will have the value of x equal minus 3. So as we can see right here, every dot has a value of x equal minus 3. Now what's going to happen if we join all the points with the help of a straight line? So I've already done it so we can see there's a straight line joining all the points and it also indicates that on every point of this line the value of x will be equal to minus 3. So we can say that this line is x equal minus 3. 
or we can say that this line is derived from the value of x which is minus 3. So we are done with x equal minus 3. It's time to move on to y and our value for y is 5. So we do the same thing what we did with x but not on the x-axis. We will do on the y-axis because we need to find the value of y. Okay, so since our y-axis is highlighted, it's time to find out the value for y. So the value for y is 5, so we need to find out where on the y-axis the value of y equals 5. So we can start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we can say that at this point the value of y equal 5. Is this the only point where the value of y equals 5? No, there are so many points where the value of y equals 5. And I'm going to mark every point which has the value of y as 5. So we can say that every point on this line will have a value of y equals 5. That is why we call this line as y equal 5. The same thing what we did with the x-axis, we just find a straight line where every point which lies on that line equals to the value of minus 3 which gives out the line equal to x equal minus 3. And we did the same thing with y equal 5. We drew a line on which every point would give out the value of y equal 5. That's why this line is called y equal 5 because it is derived from the value of y which is 5. So x equal minus 3 and y equal 5. Now we have both our lines drawn so how do we find our coordinate? Now, since we all know that where these two lines come from, let's go draw these two lines on a new graph, which I've already done. So, this blue line is y equal 5, and this yellow line is x equal minus 3. So, how does this help us to find our coordinate? Now, our coordinate will be where these two lines intersect. So, as we can see right here, this is the point where these two lines intersect. This is the point where these two lines intersect. So what is the value of x at this point? So we all know that this point lies on the line x equal minus 3 itself. So not just this point, any point on this line will give out the value of x equal minus 3 including this point. So we can easily write at this point the value of x will be minus 3. What about the value of y? Now this point also lies on the line y equal 5. And not just this point. Any point on the line y equal 5 will give out the value of y equal 5. So that's how we find our coordinate. It is done. Our coordinate is found. So this point is our coordinate a. So let's write coordinate number a. Now let me just take every line away because we don't need these lines because we have already found our coordinate. So let's take these lines away. Now this is our coordinate a. Let's go back and study what is a coordinate. So coordinate is any point or location on the graph which represent a value of x and y. So as we can see right here, we have this coordinate a which represent x as minus 3 and y as 5. We can say that this coordinate has a combined value of x and y together, which makes this point a coordinate. Thank you so much for watching and before I end this video, I just want to tell you the topic for our next lesson. The topic for our next lesson will be plotting multiple coordinates on a graph based on given set of data, which is x and y. Consider subscribing if you are interested in uh, more future maths content and please do hit a like on this video if it was of any help to you. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys again. A very goodbye from Teacher Prashant.